Okay, what I'm going to cover today is how to make a, a simple uh, bike tire. I'm going to use this uh, from a creating from a spline. You could create this from a torus also, which is probably what most people do, but I'm going to do it from a spline just because this is more adaptable to be used in different situations. You could use a spline to make other shapes than a circle. And so uh, this process um, is more flexible um, using a spline. Okay, so basically I'm just taking the spline and I'm making it renderable. So you're, you're turning the spline into a piece of geometry. Uh, still not a piece of geometry yet, but uh, that's in the end, that's what's going to happen here. So I'm just giving it a certain amount of iterations going around it, a um, certain amount of sides. Trying to get these polygons to be a specific size and approximately squares they don't have to be perfect squares but approximately squares okay so what i want to do here is i don't need the inside polygons because you'll have a rim that uh, the tire is on so might as well get rid of some excess polygons so just going to select some of these i switch to a circle selection so that i could uh pick from the center to get the ones got most of them here got a few in the bottom here that I didn't quite get so let's get those there we go okay and then I was going to hit delete get rid of that excess geometry don't need those just enough of the tire so it would uh, match up to the wheel that it would go on so now what I'm going to do is here and go in and give us some nodules in here a bike uh, normally um, would have some protrusions in there and I'm not going to try to design them specifically like a specific tire just in general and I'm uh, just picking some polygons here I'm going to be using uh, Max's dot loop which will actually allow me to set a pattern and then I can go up here and set it I've got it set for a gap of one and um, when I click our dot loop then it'll go through and select those It'll select those rings in two directions, so I've got to come in here and uh, deselect some of these that I don't want. Let me figure out my pattern here. Okay, that one don't need uh, these two. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Okay, let's check. Make sure I didn't. I got rid of all those from around the edge. Looks like I did. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is a bevel. Now, when you come in here, this may really wig out because a lot of times this has some really wild settings on it. So you'll want to zero everything out first. Then I'm just giving it a little bit of a height, not too much, and then some negative uh, number so that the bevel goes in. Okay, we don't want them too big, too far out. We just want small nodules. Now, I'm holding the control key and I went to edge. So it switched to an edge selection. And then I'm going to go put a crease modifier. On top of that, I'm going to put an open subdiv. This is a different type of a subdivision. And maybe two iterations. Now I can go back down to my crease, and now I can start setting a number end of how hard I want these nodules to be. Uh, point 0.1. You can see that defines it much better. Let's try point 0.2. That looks pretty good. It just defines it a little bit more. And then I can go to my iterations of three on my subdiv. And now that's some really nice protrusions. I think it may be a little hard. Let's just back off one. Still want them to seem like rubber, not like metal pieces. So there's a pretty simple way to build a tire out of a spline and then just use it in some of the um, existing geometry to create kind of a nice pattern on there. Now, I could have, you know, gone in and really made a specific pattern in here, but I really just needed a generalized pattern. I didn't want to get in too specific. may do something like that in another video, but in this one, just trying to get a general kind of protrusion in there, something that looks interesting that would go on to a bike. And uh, I think that uh, looks pretty good. Okay, so that's... Uh, building a bike, tire, spline modeling uh, at its best. All right. Thank you very much.